Today we use democracy for good. M&M's flavor ranking. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. A few months back, we premiered a new format where we allowed crew members to override us in deciding something very, very important. Which flavor of Doritos was best? And y'all, there was drama. There mm -hmm. was highs, there were lows, arguments, upsets, and triumphs. I really did not like having my power diluted. That was clear. But the winner lives on in the rafters, mm -hmm. and I do like that. Mm-hmm. You know, one day it may fall, but then we'll just put it back up because yeah. I really like that. And it's just Doritos. Yeah. And we're going to do it again today, but with M&M's. Mm -hmm. And may God help us all. It's time for In Flavor of M&M's Edition. Welcome to the Voting Vortex Zone. All right, boys. We've got a brand new panel of tasters ready to help you make these determinations today. We have Gwyneth from Sporked, who wrote Sporked's definitive ranking of M&M's, a.k.a. our M&M's expert. Oh, wow, okay. We've That's got... Me. Aubrey, who always keeps a bag of original M&Ms at home, a.k.a. our M&Ms loyalist. Oh, okay. And we've got Michaela, whose mother fed her peanut M&Ms to cure her peanut allergy, a.k.a. our m and survivor. <laughs> Hold on. Is that true? 100%. Did it work? Yeah. Did, how, did, did she start with, like, a piece of one and then, like, get No, a whole one. I would swell up and break out in hives and all that stuff, and then she was like, I can't have this, and she literally... <laughs> but if it comes back today, that'd be fun. Okay. Did she ever start loving you? <laughs> she never stopped. <laughs> okay, here's how this is going to work. You will each try permanent M&M flavors available in the U.S., and by that I mean not seasonal, one okay. by one. Perfect. For each flavor, Breton Link will lead our panel of tasters in deciding if the flavor at hand is good enough to oust the current leader. In order for a flavor to remain or become the front runner, it needs a minimum of three votes. So that means, yeah. Rhett and Link, if you're in agreement as to which flavor is superior, you only need one vote from the panel to yeah. agree with you. Yeah, I get that. If you're split, you'll need to convince at least two people on the panel to vote with you in order to push your flavor forward. And Civil last majority. time... Still was, trying to get used to other people's sorry, opinions Stevie. mattering. Thank yeah, you, Brett. I see that. <laughs> Last time, there was a lot of chatter in the comments about the order being unfair. So today, we've left the order up to fate by putting the list of flavors in a randomizer. So the first matchup is between crunchy cookie M&Ms mm -hmm. and fudge brownie M&Ms. Mm. And you may all begin tasting. And it doesn't matter the color, right? That's been... They all taste determined. the same. I can sense it with my mind, but that's irrelevant. These are so small. They're like a third the size. Like, you, but here's the thing. You said of that a you, you have a problem with taking other people's opinions into account, but the whole reason we did this format is because of you. Because you have what some might say are, I'll be uh, gracious in this, uh, unorthodox opinions about food and... Specifically, you hate M&Ms. You've made it clear that you don't like M&Ms, so why should you count just as much as me and three normal people? I love your mom, Michaela. No answer. I know. She loves you, too. I've met her multiple yeah. times. She calls me and asks about you specifically. Oh, I yeah? Mean, yeah. Yeah, you should take notes. Maybe. <laughs> I need you to love me as much as your mom loves me. Mm. But not as your, <laughs> much as your mom loves you, which I'm still questioning. It's way above you, though. I'm already on brownies. Have you guys tasted the brownie? Not, Not yet. yet. There's a clear winner here in my mind. I really appreciate the crunch of the cookie. It's nice and airy. It's so small, though. It's like a. But I appreciate the girth of this one. And yes, I will respond to what you said. I don't really like M and M's that much. Yeah. See. So, um, but I like these brownie ones a lot better than those cookie ones. Okay, so then I guess you're ready to hold up your uh, your your paddles. Are it's you? gonna be yep. just Rhett and Link first, not the panel. Three, two, one. Yeah, gotta go with that brownie. Yeah, it's excellent. It's so soft in there. Okay, so you so don't nice. only need one from the panel. Panelists, hold up your paddles only in need one. three, two, oh. one. But we got two. Thank you, Michaela. All right, Aubrey, what's wrong with you? Okay. <clears throat> well, <laughs> It kind of does, it kind of tastes like dirt, if I'm being honest. Dirt? Whoa, like, I, I, I agree with the softness. I do like it, but it just, yeah, I don't know, it tastes as dirt, a little dirty. 
<laughs> maybe the, maybe you just got a dirty one. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? So sorry, but the cookies are going to Eminem Hell. <laughs> Woo. Okay, our next contender is dark chocolate. Taste away. Sorry, so this is like a really traditional M&M animal. in shape and size, just with dark chocolate on the inside. All right, I'm ready to vote. <laughs> Me too. This is easy. Three, yeah. two, one. This is not going to usurp the brownies. Yeah, it's easy because they're both trying to be chocolatey, but... Okay, panel, please show me your paddles in three, two, one. We have a unanimous Whoa, vote. Oh, we got what? Aubrey liking dirty M&Ms. What? <laughs> what happens when that happens? Does hell get a little cooler? <laughs> no, I think the episode just ends. No, we continue on to the next round. Everybody feel good about this? Gwyneth? Yep. Am I throwing the right one in here? Yep, get rid of it. Yes! So long. Next up, we have dark chocolate peanut. Please uh, taste away. So this is like the peanut, but with dark chocolate. So I'm, the, I'm that guy who just says what it is. There's a peanut in there, surrounded by dark chocolate. And peanut M&Ms are, you know, they're a big deal because you can do this. Oh, see, Gwyneth already did it. Two bite food. See that? Okay. I don't even want to eat that other half. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm Gotta still on Team brownie. brownie. Okay, yep. we just need one panelist. Is Four. it going to be unanimous? Three, two, one. Whoa! Unanimous again! These brownies are cleaning up! Hell hath no fury. <laughs> can you pass those over here so I can throw them into hell? Oh, yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. Okay, we're not just doing this because Gwyneth's here. <laughs> I mean, what? I, I, I am. <laughs> Let's talk about sport. Uh, you know, Gwyneth, you do uh, what we do, but you actually do it a little bit more and more regularly than us. You taste even more stuff than we do over at sport, including your favorite candies, including your favorite M&M flavor, which if we don't agree today, uh, either you or us are fired. Okay. But we'll see. But y'all ranked every candy that was your favorite? So yeah, like we've done like M&M's rankings and we've done like gummy candy and sour candy. So then you can see like the favorite from each of those taste tests. All right, spork.com. Do it. it out. Okay, Fudge Brownie brewing. has been holding on, but will Caramel Cold Brew kick it? Taste it. Did not know that this was a thing. I'm scared. Oh. So. I mean, there's literally Ew. a dollop of caramel in there, oh. or caramel. It's hard to make sense of it because, yeah, you get the, like, oh. the cold brew feels like it's a crispy layer, and then you get, like, a Werther's original sort of, like, hanging out in your mouth. Oh, we're getting a visceral negative responses <laughs> from the no. panel. Hold on, what's up? I think it's pretty good. Uh -uh. It's hey, what do you think? I don't love it. I, I'm not a big caramel guy, but... It's really the coffee that is going against me in this one. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Give these a chance. They're not as good as the brownies, though. Oh, they agree again. Yep. What does the panel think in three, two, one? Unanimous. <laughs> wow. And, um, you know, we haven't disagreed yet. Yet. And they haven't overridden us. There's still time. So I'm. what I'm pointing out is that I just don't know. They're not necessary? Them. Yeah, okay. they just haven't been necessary yet. Well, you want to give it a shot? I didn't say it. You know what? We can let we can let Gwen do it. But I was gonna do it. No, look. <laughs> Hell! Almond is up next. Almond? You don't say <laughs> almond. You don't say almond. You know the people almond. who grow almond. almonds here in California? They could call them almonds. Almonds? Almond? Yeah. No. How do you know that? Mm. I met an almond farmer one time. <laughs> yeah, Named I Al. did. Well, that's just one guy. Yeah, but he probably is representative of all farmers. That's how I judge people. It is weird that I meet one person and I apply it to everyone like them. If you grow it, you call it an almond? That is so strange. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and if you grow a pistachio, you call it a pistachio. It's weird. Farmers, I don't know. They spend a lot of time. There's a lot of fertilizer involved. Yeah. <laughs> These are awful. Can I say that out loud? Whoa. I don't think it's awful. You just don't like a good almond. It tastes but like the inside of the back of a thrift store. Yeah, that's an almond. I like it. Not an almond, though. 
Totally different thing. Okay. Three, two, one. I'm going to give it some love. Whoa! I am going to demand that the panel be useful. Oh, why do you look at me? <sighs> okay, panel, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa. Everybody, well, I, I, now I kind of feel like I was on the fence a little bit. You like these? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Explain it to me. I think they're really good. I like the nuttiness. They they are good. It's different than just like the full sweetness Mm. of the I just like the the peanut butter. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to miss these brownies, though. They are really good. They were really good. Hmm. Can I have them? I love those. I like down. I feel bad sending it to hell. Can we? Is there a purgatory or something? It had a good run. It had. No, we're not Catholic. (laughs) We're Baptists. It's the time we've all been waiting for. The original M&Ms have entered. And they're over here now. I thought you were going to say entered the chat. The chat. Thank you for that. I never eat one M&M at once. Wow, I, I forgot how discus-like an original is. It's, oh, you can it's, skip it on a pond. It's flatter mm-hmm. and pond You ever had a, a pond skipping contest with a couple of M&Ms? Uh-uh. What are you doing later? It's all about the side spin. Okay. I think I think I know what I'm saying. Three, two, one. Original, man. Nope. Sticking with the almond. Wow. Bold move from Link here. Panel, are you no going problem. to agree? Three, two, one. Ooh. Yes! Yes, we've done it! The almond board! <laughs> We're taking over! Well, I mean, Look what? Look at the shock uh, on his hold face. Hold on, like... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> are you getting paid by almonds? I just... <laughs> I mean, I just really like it. It's huge. Mm-hmm. It's nutty. It is. Mm-hmm. I think it's more healthy. Mm-hmm. Aubrey? No, I'm an original girl all the way. Yep. I have to. I have to stick with it. They're so good. It's right. just a nostalgia vote for you two. Well, it's also because we took a little extra fabric here and made a shirt for Aubrey out of it, and that's why I think she decided that she had to go blue. Dress for the job you want. Yeah. So. I get it. I get it. I get it. Aubrey, do the honors. Well, that makes me sad. <laughs> Ooh. Peanut is here. Wow, the nut off. Uh, now, the peanuts are bigger... Peanut M&M's are bigger, well, no, they're not. The almond M&M's are bigger than the peanut M&M's because an almond is bigger than a peanut. Very and good, Link. But there's still more chocolate in the peanut than in the almond. The no al- contest on this one. You break into that peanut M&M? Dang, a, a peanut's so much more, it's a better nut, man, especially with chocolate. I mean, but listen, I'm not trying to influence you. Peanut's not actually even a nut. Um. I'm just trying to address the fact that I think I'm drawn to the almond because it reduces the amount of chocolate and candy in the ratio. So it's much more about the almond than the peanut one is about the peanut. Right, because you don't like M&Ms. Right. Yeah. So you know where I'm voting. Three, two, one. Sticking with almond. Peanut, man. Splitsies panel. Let's see it. Three, two, one. Yeah! Ooh. So you guys have different opinions about nuts. I just this think is, peanut is a it? better nut. I agree. This is a really good. I don't like nut. peanuts. Really? Yeah. The little bits get stuck in my throat and they make me cough. Okay. Yeah. So. I mean, I just think it's a better compliment to the chocolate flavor. Mm-hmm. Agreed, I think ultimately that's what it comes down to. This, really is, a, this is a classic, classic flavor. We got to get rid of you, almond. Go to hell! <laughs> Versus caramel now. Mm. Okay, so just straight up caramel. And why they're not shiny at all? They're think, matte what finish. Happened, some of the caramel came out in the bag, and caramel. When you finish something with caramel, it mm. puts a matte finish on it. I've done it on my walls. That's very astute, Rhett. Yeah. When it's just caramel, it makes me realize I shouldn't have been hating on caramel. I do like that. Hmm. It's very Rolo-ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rolo with a little with candy. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I thought this was gonna be easy for me. Crunchy Rolo. It also forces you to slow down. Yes, and we need that in life. Well, I need it. <laughs> Does it also shut down your phone? I usually get through my candy in the movie theater by like trailer four. 
I need to slow down. I'm ready to vote. Okay. Three, two, one. Curveball. Yeah, me and you both. Yeah. Wow. Panel, do you good. feel the same way? Three, two, one. Oh! Yes, just enough, Aubrey. Thank you. Hey, You're welcome. This is a huge upset. You can hear it amongst the people. <laughs> It's peanut. very tense. People in here love right now. peanut M Ms. I feel bad about this. Well, we are all very intrigued back here. I will say, like, no! we're, we're not against your decision. We support you all the way for now. How are you gonna feel about peanut butter? You, what do you think? I wonder. Well, you just sent peanuts, so you know there's still a question mark there. I love these M Ms. It's just a disc filled with peanut butter. I love the way it breaks in my mouth. Hold on. We still got caramel over here. <laughs> <laughs> All together, they're pretty good. It's a good peanut butter, too. I wonder what kind of peanut butter it is. You know, where do they source it from? Mars. Right, I'll look into it and let you know. Does Three. Mars make Jif is what I'm asking. Two, one. No contest. That's amazing. Panel. It's soft. Panel, panel, panel. What are you gonna do? Three, two, one. Yes! Oh, yeah. We are back in unanimous territory. It was Something tough. Something we can all agree on. It was tough for you? I think so. I, I think the peanut butter is a little weird. What? In what way? But it's still peanut butter. Kind of oily. It's better than yeah, it's, it caramel. Tastes, that's the thing I like yeah. about it. Is it's it very is much like they put real peanut butter in there versus like a peanut butter that was made to go in candy. Like the dry, like kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. got like, it's got that consistency that's, that's true. so good. Yeah. Please don't do this, no. Too late. It's mini time. Minis time, it's the time for minis. Before you reach for your minis, I just want you to understand. You see the packaging of the mini? It's two. Oh, There's only you one just way go to like eat this with that? So I'm gonna just pour them into your mouth. Just however many you get, you get, okay? Open one. But I'm gonna close my mouth when I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just I mean, I mean, make room. I, I can't eat all of this. Uh, you know, you know, you know, I'm not gonna pour the whole bowl into your mouth. Just <laughs> oh you, make it a little, just a little bit bigger. You're not blowing a whistle. <laughs> Why? No. <laughs> if you had to open wider, but I got more in there. I know. I didn't want one. That's too many. Too many minis. I don't, I don't want all of these. I don't, I don't. So. I'm just doing it on the side. The side of the inside of the bowl. <laughs> now, the thing you'll notice about this. I didn't give consent. As I you chew like it. This. You didn't get to do this because you spit it out. But if you like the outside of an M&M, this is all about the outside of the M&M. And you do the multiple uh, ones in your mouth and chew and the way they interact on your molars, yeah. it's exquisite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Link, you see, didn't get to experience that. No, that's just the part I don't like. I don't like the outside of an M&M. &M. Okay, well, then I think we know where you're going. Can we get some skinless, <laughs> skinless M&Ms? <laughs> Three, two, one. But it's not better than peanut butter. <laughs> After all that. Okay, panel. Who's with us? Three, two, one. Yes, yeah. there we go. There's a reason why in 2001, they released a peanut butter that's just the M&M peanut butter in the UK. Only. How did you know that? Because Carney told me. Oh. <laughs> Burn! Up next is dark chocolate mint. Oh, really? and there's dark green and light green. Is it all the same? Oh. Oh, yeah. That Ooh. packs a punch. It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. Feels like you're brushing your teeth with candy. Does it feel like it should be an M&M at all? Wow. Mm. Junior mints. Look out. You think so? Yeah. This is like a <laughs> crunchy junior mint. Must be there ain't no way we're voting for this. Hold on, but you put peanut butter in. Peanut butter and mint, mint it, make, it makes my lip balm. Mm -hmm. Let me try it. Oh, tastes like a lip balm. Put it on your lips. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to eat any more m &Ms. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. It's not as good as peanut butter though. Panel. Anyone beg to differ? Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Michaela, Michaela, what happened? You like this. I was I had fun with it. It was a fun experience. <laughs> it is actually. fun. Yeah. It was a fun little burst of mint. Different. 
It's the most unexpected of all the M&M flavors. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. what I expected at all. I no. thought it was going to have stuff or something. And yeah. it's pretty. Like a yep. junior. Not head. enough to it. Mm -hmm. And when it goes to hell, it smells like burning flesh. <laughs> It all comes down to this. Will pretzel oust peanut butter? That's a big round M&M. &M. It's got a fun texture. Let me just say that. It crunches like malt. Very malt-like. And then it's got that hmm. signature burnt pretzel flavor that I've never completely understood. If you like pretzels, you'll love this. Okay. Three, two, one. Gotta stick with yeah. the peanut butter, right? Yeah. No surprise there, but panel, we can do lose you it all. agree? In three, two, one. Everyone oh! agrees. It's great to go off, go out. <laughs> go off. And to go in. Go off, go King. On. Go off. We, we went off together because we went out in unison, agreeing that peanuts are the best, with an honorable mention to the brownies. So, there you have it. We have got to throw press on down. hell. We are throwing. <laughs> or not throwing. We are raising. Peanut M&M's, peanut butter M&M's into the official GMM Flavor Hall of Fame. You're so little. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, panel. Felga, you were needed. Thank you were you very much you. needed. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now y'all say you know what time it is. You know, you know what, what time, time it is. is. Hi, my name's Shelby. And I'm Gardner, and we're spending this Halloween in Savannah, Georgia, trying to taste colors. Green. No, <laughs> time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Well, you you could have used the yeah. take where he got it right. Just That's not what we did, though. No, click the top link to watch us figure out if many versions of snacks taste better than the full-size version. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Check out all the best candy the Spork team has ever tasted at spork.com and get the inside scoop on what makes your favorite candies like M&Ms and Butterfingers so good.